Hello everybody, I'm here quickly today for about two minutes to help you navigate the system in Ontario to choose a therapist for your child with autism. Now your son or daughter may have recently been diagnosed, they could be two, three, maybe they're seven years old. And right now you're thinking, okay, what am I going to do? What are my options? Where can I go? I have to get a therapist, a psychologist, What's what are my options here? So I'm going to try and break this down in two to three minutes and hopefully you'll feel a little bit better after watching this today, okay? So first off, what you're going to want to do is look for a therapist. Now your questions right off the bat are how long uh, should the sessions be? How many sessions per week should I do? Um, where can I find a good therapist? Do I need two? Should I use one? Do I need a senior therapist? Should I get a psychologist? What wait list do I get on? So hopefully I can answer those today. Okay, so starting at the top, you can look for an ABA therapist, Applied Behavioral Analysis, uh, online. There are multiple great sites that you can use. You can go to ABA Therapy Ontario, which is a local group for Ontario parents and therapists where they can connect and advertise um, positions. So sign up there and get there right away. It's great. Um, you'll look for a therapist, typically a junior therapist or anywhere from $15 to $20 an hour. You can have your senior therapist charging anywhere upwards to $90 and typically a psychologist is $180 an hour upwards. So right at the beginning, you will need your therapist to come in, ideally two, ideally at least twice a week. Why? Because think of this as a workout. Now if you're going to the gym once per week versus three times per week, where you're gonna see results. Uh, additionally, there's more consistency when you're going uh, twice per week upwards of three to four times a week. Now, once when you find your therapist, you can interview them, uh, pick ones that you think will get along well with your child. And from there, you may want a senior therapist to create some programming. There are therapists that are senior therapists and instructor therapists in one hat, so they can make programming um, based on your child's level. Typically, I'll use the ABLES, the Assessment of Basic Learning and Language Skills, or the VB Map. So either or are, are great. Um, and they should, they should leave a program for you and they'll be running that with your child. Now, um, first things first, you want to get on the wait list at Kinark if you're in York Region or Erin Oak. Um, and I believe it's TPAS in Toronto. So you want to get on that wait list right away because it can take up to three years, which is a long time. And once when you're on the wait list, your number, you can always call and find out where you're at on that wait list. And what you'll do is when your number comes up, you're going to be offered DSO or DFO. Now DSO is direct service option and DFO is direct funding option. What are they? Okay. So direct service option is you will choose a center based on the list and you're essentially you'll send your child to a center for 20 hours per week. DFO is essentially you will be the CEO of your home-based program. So it's direct funding option. So you're going to choose your instructor therapist, you're going to choose a senior therapist and a psychologist. So your child will get 20 hours of ABA per week, which is amazing, all funded for by the government. And it's hopeful that your child will make some astounding gains in their uh, academic, social, play and communication skills, okay? Um, I think that should be good for now. I hope that was helpful. If you have any other questions or comments, please do comment and I'd be happy to answer them, okay? But I hope, uh, good luck to you guys and don't worry, it's a fun process. I've been with my families for a while and we, um, it's always rewarding to watch little guys and girls make great gains, okay? Good luck, thanks for watching.